In this video, let's learn about the excitatory postsynaptic potential. The excitatory postsynaptic potential is the non-propagated electrical potential that develops during the process of the synaptic transmission. Now let's learn about the sequence of the events during the synaptic transmission. This is the presynaptic neuron and the postsynaptic neuron. The first event is the arrival of the action potential into the axon terminal. When the action potential reaches the presynaptic axon terminal, the voltage-gated calcium channels at the presynaptic membrane are open. So the calcium channels are opened. Now the calcium channels enter the axon terminal from the ECF. The calcium ions causes the release of the neurotransmitter that is the acetylcholine from the vesicles by means of the process exocytosis. It is by the process of the exocytosis. And now the neurotransmitter which is, which is excitatory in function that is the excitatory neurotransmitter passes through the presynaptic membrane and the synaptic cleft and it reaches the postsynaptic membrane or the neuron. So here there is the passage of the excitatory neurotransmitter through the synaptic cleft. And this is the synaptic cleft. Now the neurotransmitter binds with the receptor protein that is present in the postsynaptic membrane and it forms a neurotransmitter receptor complex that is the acetylcholine receptor complex. After the formation of the acetylcholine receptor complex, there is the opening of the sodium channels and the influx of the sodium ions from the ECF. And the neurotransmitter receptor complex causes a production of non-propagated EPSP or the excitatory postsynaptic potential into the postsynaptic membrane. And the common excitatory neurotransmitter in a synapse is the acetylcholine. And now the development of the EPSP causes the opening of the sodium channels in the initial segment of the axon. This opening of the sodium channels leads to the influx of the sodium ions from the ECF and it leads to the development of the action potential. In the influx of the sodium ions from the ECF, they causes the spread of the action potential through the axon of the postsynaptic neuron. So these are the sequence of the events during the synaptic transmission. Now let's learn about the mechanism of development of the EPSP. As you already saw in the flowchart, the mechanism of the development of EPSP is due to the formation of the neurotransmitter receptor complex and it causes the opening of the ligand gated sodium channels from the ECF to enter into the cell body of the postsynaptic neuron. And as the sodium ions are positively charged, the resting membrane potential inside the cell body is altered and mild depolarization is called as the EPSP. And this, and this EPSP is the local potential. So the mechanism of EPSP is started by the neurotransmitter receptor complex and it causes the opening of the ligand gated sodium channels and, so, and the sodium ions enter from the ECF and as the sodium ions are positively charged, the resting membrane potential inside the cell body is altered and it causes the mild depolarization. And this type of mild depolarization is called as the EPSP, that is the excitatory postsynaptic potential. And this EPSP is the local potential, that is the local response of a synapse. And the properties of the EPSP the EPSP is only confined to the synapse. It is a graded potential. Remember this point. And it is similar to the receptor potential and the end plate potential. And now let's learn about the significance of the EPSP. The EPSP is not transmitted into the axon of the postsynaptic neuron. However, it causes the development of the action potential in the axon. So when the EPSP is strong enough, so when the EPSP is strong enough, 
It causes the opening of the voltage gated sodium channels in the initial segment of the axon. Now due to the entrance of the sodium ions, the depolarization occurs in the initial segment of the axon and thus the action potential is developed. From here, the action potential spreads to the other segments of the axon. So this is the significance of the EPSP. So guys, this is all about the excitatory postsynaptic potential. For a video on the neuromuscular transmission, you can click on the i button. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.